All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up a Raspberry Pi with Tor as an access point so you can uh, have Tor running on your Pi. So I already went ahead and did an update, made sure Git is installed. So we need to clone the directory here for the uh, software that we're going to use to uh, make our Pi a hotspot access point. So I'll throw a link in the description to my website for all the commands for this so you don't have to type all this stuff out. So we just need to say why. And this sets everything up basically <clears throat> automatically. Uh, we'll... Uh, change the uh, default password and AP other than that that's about it when it comes to uh, the hotspot itself so we'll just let this run now I'm using uh, All right, so here we go. We'll come back to my question I was going to throw up. So we want to say yes, yes. Then do you want to use the default? We're just going to say no. So now it wants a password. So we'll just make one up. Then we'll just call this tour. Oh, crap. Please enter a password if I type it in right. All right, so now it wants the SSID, so we'll just call this Tor. And best channel is to use this one, six and 11, so we'll just use six. And we're gonna say no to this and no to the Chromecast. Now this is going to fail. See how it failed here? So we're going to cancel that because it's going to automatically reboot. So we're going to issue the following three commands here. So <clears throat> and hopefully that fixes our problem. So now we're going to reboot and I'll be back when it comes back up. All right, so it restarted. So what we can do is make sure that we can connect to it. <clears throat> and I already went ahead and put my password in. All right, and we are connected. So we can just disconnect that for now. All right, so now we need to install the Tor software which is pretty simple by the following command. We'll just say yes. So now what we need to do is once this is installed, we need to add some text into a file. <clears throat> and uh, set up some uh, IP tables and we'll be ready to rock and roll. This is only like a 10 15 minute install does it take too long so now let me back out of here as you can see I went to the following uh, directory and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we are going to paste in the following as you can see, we'll just let that go. Then we'll do a control X, Y, and enter to save. So now we need to set up some IP routes.
and these two commands you'll want to make sure that it's WLAN 0 if we're using the on board, on board Wi-Fi if you're using a USB or whatnot you may have to change that to a 1 but we are just using the on board Wi-Fi as the hotspot so we don't need to be too concerned about the WLAN zero. So now we'll save and we're going to create a log here. And now we are going to start the service. Then we are going to check on the stat, the status. So it looks good, success. <clears throat> so now we are going to enable this for boot. And after that, we can reboot. And I'll be back again. All right, so now we're back. So now what we can do is <clears throat> Go to the following page here, check.torproject.org. And as you can see, sorry you're not using Tor. I'm not going to show the whole page because it shows the IP address. But what we can do is we can go down here and we can connect to the and we can refresh now it's going to still fail because I'm still connected to my ethernet so let me unplug that and there we go now I'm on the hot spot and uh, we are ready to use it so and there you go all right well hopefully this helped out and uh thanks for watching and i'll throw a link in the description to the website to my website for all the uh, information on this so all right thanks for watching